The first product on our list is Sennheiser 165 rupees. Because the Sennheiser 165 rupees operate on the 2.4 GHz band, they're not subject to the compression that degrades the quality of some Bluetooth transmissions. They isolate sound well, too, so you can turn the volume up quite high without bothering anyone around you. The price is around $141. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.2 stars from more than 753 customer reviews. A customer said. The sound quality from these wireless headphones is pretty good, though they're not quite a match for my corded audiophile headphones that cost hundreds more. Sound isolation is pretty strong. It's definitely sufficient that someone can listen at high volume and not disturb other folks in the room and vice versa. There are four buttons on the headphones, one turns the headphones on or off, one turns bass boost uh, on or off and the other two are for volume up and down. The headphones also automatically switch off when you place them on the charging base. Battery life seems to be sufficient for. The next product on our list is. Artiste Ad 300. Consisting of a charging base station and a pair of earphones, the Artiste ADH 300 offer latency-free sound at a range of up to 100 feet. They have an RCA stereo input only, but this particular option is bundled with an optical adapter that works with most modern TVs. This product is available on Amazon for $86. Check out. There are 587 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.1 stars. A customer said. I have a 2017 Samsung Smart TV and after connecting these headphones, I was hearing a flickering, crackling sound. I thought the converter was faulty. But the actual issue is that the audio settings must be changed from default Dolby to PCA. Attaching a video on how to change the setting. The number 3. Steel Series Arctis 7. While they were designed for gamers, the SteelSeries Arctis 7 are also an excellent way to watch movies and shows without disturbing those around you. They work especially well with home theater PCs, thanks to their comprehensive Windows-based control software. This product is available on Amazon for $119. The number 4. Aventry HD 280. With a sound profile weighted toward the mid and upper ranges, the Aventry HD 280 were created to help those who are hard of hearing enjoy multimedia entertainment. They have optical, coaxial, and RCA connections, and a three-way switch to select the right input. This product is available on Amazon for $90. This product has average 4.2 stars from more than 1291 customer reviews, a customer said. The unit works good with the TV, was easy to hook up etc but it really does not have the volume one thought it would. My TCL built-in speakers are actually quite a bit louder, heck every headphone I have is quite a bit louder. Just not enough amp in them for volume or bass. That's my biggest gripe, if you are hard of hearing, they will not help much. The next product is, Sennheiser 175 rupees. Bass Boost and two virtual surround modes allow the Sennheiser 175 rupees to provide a near cinematic experience, with rich sound across the entire spectrum. Their plush earcups are comfortable and do a great job of isolating you from outside noise. This product is available on Amazon for $200. Check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 2,265 customer reviews. A customer said. I'm a musician with a home studio. With several sets of headphones all getting old, I decided to invest in some new ones. I've had good luck with Sennheiser in the past so I wanted to check out what they were currently offering. After reading lots of reviews, I decided to give these 175 rupees RFs a try. I was a little leery of them being wireless but trusting in the Sennheiser name, bought them anyway. I wanted them for general recording and playback. Pros, excellent sound, flat, uncolored. Clear detailed, etc. 
All the qualities I've come to expect from Sennheiser. Wireless. Another happy customer said. First let me say that I suffer a serious hearing loss which makes it difficult to watch television with my wife because I have to have the volume up so loud and even then I can't hear everything. I have had two sets of Sennheiser RS120s for a few years now and loved them. My wife wanted to get me these for Christmas this year because they were apparently capable of surround sound. Now I'm not an audiophile but I will try to point out some pros and cons here. The 175s are an over-the-ear fit as opposed. The next one is Aventry HT4186. If you're not a fan of wearing bulky headsets, consider the Aventry HT4186, which consists of a pair of earbuds and a versatile Bluetooth transmitter. They won't match the quality of most others, but they might help you stay cool and comfortable. The price approximately $80. This product has average 4.2 stars from more than 2,737 customer reviews. A customer said. As full-time RVers, it's hard for my wife to get away from TV noise when sleeping. After checking reviews versus price, these seemed like a good option. Simple hookup. I used the optical cable, let it sink, and I was ready. I'm not an audiophile so I can't comment on the quality of the sound, but for watching average shows, some racing, and occasional rock and roll or blues concerts, these work fine. I didn't time the battery life, but they worked over a period of a few days. I found that it charges fine with my phone. The next product in our list is Treb Lab Z2. Good for more than just watching TV. The Treb Lab Z2 are a highly functional choice that take advantage of the Bluetooth aptX HD codec to send high-resolution audio to your ears. They work just as well with modern smartphones as they do with home entertainment centers. This product is available on Amazon for $85. Check out the There are 1299 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.4 stars, a customer said. There are very few over-the-ear workout headphones available. In fact, Plantronics makes an on-the-ear and Tree Labs as the only over-the-ear IPX4, water and sweat resistance, I have seen on Amazon. Over-the-ear is my preference because I just don't like in-the-ear earbuds and worry that one of them might pop out and I'd lose it. I'm also old school, so earbuds are not comfortable to me. These deliver great sound, but only with the noise cancellation on. The charge fast and give you over 20 hours of play. Usually, I just charge them at night. I primarily use these for running, but I. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.